welcome back to my channel. My name is Tor. Um, I hope everybody is doing well. In today's video, um, I'm doing the video that I spoke about in my luxury wish list video, I think. It is the craziest things I found on Essence and like the most expensive wacky things and like why would anyone pay this money and why would they create this product? So without further ado, let's get going. Let's do high to low. Um, the first thing is, ooh, this Gucci Balmer, Banana Balmer, $9,450 Canadian for a blue and white leather Balmer with a banana on the back and pink Gucci on the front. Why would anybody spend that money on that? Next item, ooh, a $7,000 blanket. The Loewe Red William de Morgan Cashmere Animal Tile Blanket. I mean, cashmere, that's nice, but also $7,000. That's insane. Why would anybody spend $7,000 on a blanket? I don't understand. Ooh, what do we have here? Alani. I've always really been interested in their cardigans, but also their pricing is insane. Like $7,000 on a multicolor jean and knit cardigan. Like, ooh, I just can't. Like, that is my rent for, like, a couple months, just on that nasty-ass cardigan. Like, I don't think so. No thank you, no ma'am. Ooh, what else do we have here? Okay, I've seen this brand a lot. SR Studio LA California. Green and brown oversized merino chunky cardigan for $5,400, and there's only one left. I don't know, maybe they only bought one and they're trying to get us like that, or someone actually bought this god-awful thing. It looks atrocious. Oh my god. I just, oh, it's like, maybe if it was like $100, it would be like, oh, like, oh, wow, interesting. But like $5,400, like you could get a Chanel bag for that. Or you could get this gross-ass cardigan, like the choice is yours. What else do we have? Ooh. All right, maybe let's do page two. So far page one is like average. Oh, what do we think of the Gucci Mickey Mouse collaboration? It's, um, I find it looks really cheap. I remember when it came out, I was still working um, at Holt Renfrew and they had like a whole pop-up for it, but Honestly, the things are just like insanely expensive, like 4,730 Canadian dollars on this jacket with Mickey Mouse all over it. Like, it ain't it. You could just go to the Disney store. Like, you'll be fine. What else do we have here? Now everything's looking pretty like normal. Ooh, I really like this Paco Rabanne metal heart thing. Oh my God, it's not even metal, it's plastic. <laughs> That's so sad. $4,275 for a plastic shirt, but it does have like this super cute heart in it. Although he's like not even wearing anything underneath. Like I feel like, I feel like that would get uncomfortable after a while. Like what if you're like wearing it in the summer and you just like start sweating and then like the little plastic plate starts sticking to you. Or what if you get like a sunburn with that top on? It just sounds like a nightmare. Oh my God, $3,500 on this God awful backpack. Okay, rubber, <laughs> ew. Why would you want this backpack? Like, where are you going with this backpack? Like, I really want to know. Bringing it to class, bringing it to school? I don't think so. Hmm. These Gucci blue wool jacquard lounge pants. Oh, oh my God, these are god awful. For $3,400. If you're spending $3,400 on that, like, Think about the different charities you'd give to. And oh my God, look at the crotch. The things don't even line up. <gasps> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh my God, but this I love. Okay, Tom Brown multicolor tweed seasonal blazer. I'm not really one for blazers. I wish I was, but ugh, this whole outfit I just love, but I wish it was more like slim fitting. Like the really boxy cut I don't like, especially not for three grand. No, thank you. Oh my god, this I also love. Faith Connection, the white tweed oversized jacket. This looks so nice. Are those little crystals? What are those? Oh no, they're like studs. I wish they were crystals. I mean, I would just be so scared about getting that dirty though. Like you get that dirty once you're f***ed. 
What else do we have? What else do we have? Okay, I don't understand this brand. Mastermind World, $3,225 for a textile black skull messenger bag. This straight up looks like something you could buy from Patagonia for like $70. But 3000 like, I really don't understand Mastermind. I, their prices are insane. And, like, for what? For what? Like, I don't get it. I really don't get it. I want to know, has anyone ever legitimately purchased anything from that brand? Or did they just, like, exist to be like, that's an expensive item for no reason? Ooh, what else? What else? What else? What else? I really love this, too. Margello White Recycled Nylon Glam Slam puffer coat like where would I go with this I don't know would it look kind of nasty after a couple wears yeah but is it cute you best believe Ooh, what is this Gucci off-white and multicolor soleil print shirt <laughs> I mean it's like a cute like tunic dress but like is anyone actually gonna buy that is anyone actually gonna wear that like Part of my thing with these designers, I'm like, half of it's just for like shock value. Half of it is to just like push the envelope, push the fashion, but the other half is like commercial. And honestly, they gotta pay their bills somehow, but also sometimes it's just like pushed in directions it doesn't need to go. And I really wish they didn't, cause I'm just like, okay. Like I get you're pushing the fashion envelope, but also no one needs to see that. Like no one. No one needs to see it. Okay, I'm done with the men. The men are over. Costa Fiorucci shirt. Fiorucci. I got this from Holt. This is from the women's collection again. I remember when I got it, I went into like the fitting room and I was like, hey, can I try this on? And the lady was like, that's a women's shirt. And I was like, okay, can I try it on? And she was like, yeah. I was like, thanks. Okay, women's, women's, what do we have? Gucci burgundy and tan Ophidia guitar case for $10,315. Wow. Oh, the inside is so cool though. This like purple velvet. Okay, but is she just like carrying that around like a purse? Like what is happening here? Is that just like, oh, got my day bag, thanks. What else do we have? Okay, this Bottega Veneta gold mini curly pouch for $6,920. Like, honestly, it looks so not cute with that outfit. Just like that bag in it. There's a reason why it's still there. What else do we have? Oh my god. Vedma. I really don't know how I feel about Vedma. Like, these boots are definitely cool, but for $6,610. Oh my god, let's see. Only two sizes left. See, I wonder if they buy a full size range and they legitimately sell out or if they buy like three sizes and like one sells out and then it's like <gasps> exclusivity, but like they only bought three sizes to begin with. So they just try to trick you. God, these are like, where are you wearing these? Like really, where are you going? Supermarket, Whole Foods. What is the story of those boots? Also this Vedemont purple plush coat I mean, does it look super cool? Yeah, but like 5,400, 5,000, no, $5,940. Like why? Just like why? Why, why, why? Mew Mew with the $5,000 dress. We see you. Oh my God, these Givenchy bags, five grand. Since when is anybody paying five grand for a Givenchy bag? Girl, nobody wants your bags. Ooh, oh my god, this is so cute. Gucci off-white wool tweed short dress. Really into that. That's adorable. Also, this is really cute. Pink wool short coat. Oh, it's so bubblegum. Honestly, why can't they, like, make that for me? I want that. 4,595 ambush silver can clutch. Not even silver. It's resin. <laughs> Just, like... <laughs> The people that buy this shit have too much money. Too much money. Okay. Bottega Veneta, the chain clutch. I wish they kept it as like the original pouch, not this one, because this one is like longer and more like 
oblong and like oval where the other one was more like what's this like trapezoid this one it just looks it looks like a prune like it looks ugly i hate it i hate it but the chain is like real cool i do admit i did want the mini pouch but then i was like it looks like a dumpling i don't really want to carry around a dumpling like i would think it's cute for like a minute and then i'd be like <laughs> no i want my three grand back or two grand or however however much it is <gasps> this is so cute prada essence exclusive white silk tie-dye jacket adorable but i wish it wasn't silk because silk tie-dye and it's like white and pink like my colors but i wish it was like a pvc because then you could wear it out or like if it was like more like a raincoat but the fact that it's silk means a you'd be have to be like careful about what you wear it around because it could get snagged it could get pulled it could get colored like color transfer like if you get color transfer on silk like good luck like your jacket's ruined sorry what else do we have now these things are kind of boring like basic basic what the hell is this come de garçon pink thin satin structured skirt Like, I get Come de Garcon's vibe, but like, $3,695 on this ugly skirt? Like, I can't. I just don't get it. Also, this SR Studio, like, this dress, like, literally looks like something like a witch would wear coming out of like a black lagoon ready to just curse you. But like, scary witch, but make it fashion. What else do I have? Honestly, Tom Brown is just so expensive for nothing. Like, apparently the quality is, like, pretty garbage, but... The stuff is cute, but quality's not that good. Allegedly. Ooh, this is cool. This is giving me, like, Carrie vibes. Marina Moscone. Moscone? Moscone? Never heard of it. This dress is, like, white with, like, red threads, but $3,500. Like... My thing with like new designers when they come out and they come out with these crazy prices, like nobody knows your brand, girl. No one's gonna pay three thousand five hundred dollars for that dress. Oh my god, let's check this out. Oh, well, it's sold out quite a bit, but like either okay. Here's my thing: if there are only like small sizes left, it could just mean that the sizing is really off and that it fits really big. So maybe like a small fits like a large. Hmm. You know, you never know. Never know if they try to goop ya. Hmm. Wait. What else do we have? Okay, I'm not really finding anything else kind of crazy. Hmm. Maybe that's it. Maybe we got through it. Maybe they smartened up and had better buys. Oh my god, being a buyer for Essence would be such a fun job. What else? Oh my god, these skirts are cute, but like, where are you wearing this? Prada green large rose print skirt. I guess it's just like a giant skirt with a rose on it and it's like neon green. Like, where are you going with that? Going to work? Like, I don't think so. I mean, you could, and like props to you if you do, but also like choices. Okay, I think that is everything. Oh, wait, wait last thing. Venma Star Wars Black Star Wars Edition Character List Cruise. I don't even know what that word means. Boots for $3,125. So basically you could buy the Star Wars credits on boots for the cool price of three grand. You know, if you're definitely buying that, I am definitely concerned for you because you need better money management. Like you need to get a financial advisor and they need to slap you because there are people dying and that's what you're buying. Like, okay. Okay, sis. Okay, so that is my video. Um, I want to go on other websites and see what crazy shit they have. Um, Essence is really the only website I buy from because they are Canadian and I find the shipping within Canada is really good and you only have to pay a hundred Canadian dollars. And I'm like kind of scared to order from like Matches Fashion or Louis Fioroma or um, Neta Porte because they're shipping from Europe and I just I'm really not sure about that whole like duties thing or like shipping abroad. I did order once from Farfetch and I did find like that the item was like fairly expensive for what it was and I'm not sure if that was just like a Farfetch thing or if it was 
like with all the duties and import fees. So I am kind of like nervous to buy from these other websites. I definitely want to and I want to try. Um, but yeah, so far Essence is the only website I shop from. So it's why I do it. I'm literally on there every single day. Um, Essence, sponsor me. I really want them to sponsor me and I want them to like send me products. So like, please. But yeah, if there are any websites you want me to check out and like do this like same sort of thing, let me know. I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, yeah, I hope everyone has a great day and I'll see you all next time. Bye.